guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome to How to Crochet, your very own Runty Witch. I'm going to show you how to make this little miniature witch today, just in time for Halloween. Please keep in mind that this tutorial is designed for those who already know how to crochet and are familiar with common crochet patterns. We're going to get started. You're going to need an F 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle of your choice, stuffing, scissors, and yarn, of course. I'm using this combination of Bernat and Red Heart yarn. Just any kind of worsted weight acrylic yarn will work perfectly fine for you. So, we're going to start out by making the mold on the face. Take a shade of green or black and just double or triple knot it, depending on how large you want that facial mold. Keep in mind we are starting with all the little details since they are my least favorite part of crocheting to get them out of the way. You're going to do the same thing for the eyes. Just make a double knot with black yarn or any color you want, really. And you can also make this a triple knot if you want more of a pokey eye. I also use googly eyes for this part with the witch you saw at the beginning. Next, you're going to make the nose. Start with a regular old slip knot, and you're going to be making a chain of three and slip stitching back into that first chain before fastening off. Fasten off with a little slip knot, snip, and your nose is complete. Okay, guys, next take your arm color and make a slip knot, and then you're going to make a chain of eight. You're going to single crochet into the second chain from your hook, so you will have a finished row of seven single crochets. You're going to go ahead and finish this off as the arms are just one basic row of crochet. The legs will be done similarly, so take your leg color, except this time you're going to chain 10. Insert your hook in the second chain from your hook for a total row of 9. You're going to make two arms and two legs. If they kind of curl up, I think it looks pretty cute. I would just leave it. Don't worry about keeping them stretched out and straight. Now you should have two eyes, a mole, a nose, two arms, and two legs. You're going to cut a four inch piece of whatever hair color you want. I'm going to use black. And you're going to use this as a guide for the rest of the hair. You want 12 strands in total plus an extra strand just to tie it all together. Also remember to snip a small strand of black for your mouth. Tie all the hair together and make a double or triple knot to keep it secure and just trim off those little ends. Now you should have your hair, your mouth, your eyes, your mole, your legs, and your arms. Your nose as well. Next we're going to make the hat. Start with a magic circle or adjustable loop, whatever you prefer, of six single crochets. Pull it tight, and for the next row, you're just going to single crochet into every single one of those stitches for a total of six at the end of this row. Sorry that some of these stitches get kind of high. It was hard for me to tell where my camera was filming for some of these little details. For this next row, you're going to increase to nine. So what you want to do is single crochet twice into the next stitch, followed by one single crochet. So you're going to increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, all the way around until you have nine stitches at the end of your row. Then you're going to single crochet into every single one of those nine stitches for row four. Go ahead and count and make sure you have nine. I know it looks kind of like I have ten here, but I actually do have nine on my hook. For the next row, you're going to increase yet again, except this time you're going to increase on the first stitch and then do two single crochets in between before increasing on the next stitch. Remember an increase is just two single crochets into the same stitch. You're going to do that until you have a total of 12 all the way around. Once you've increased to 12, you're going to add two more rows of 12 single crochets all the way around. Go ahead and 
turn the hat right side out if you've been crocheting backwards like I have. And now it's time to increase yet again. This time you're going to be increasing all the way around, so do two single crochets in every single stitch around for a total of 24 stitches at the end of your row. Once you've increased, you're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to increase from 24 to 48 stitches all the way around for this row by doing two single crochets in each stitch around. This will be your final row of the hat, so go ahead and finish off by slip stitching into that next stitch and just fasten off leaving a long tail to sew the hat to the head. You're going to thread your yarn onto your needle and weave it in towards the center of the hat so you have a good spot for sewing the hat to the head. Now using a small piece of your accent color yarn, go ahead and tie a little bow around the rim of the hat. And now we're ready to make the head. Start with a magic circle of six single crochet stitches, but do not pull it tight just yet. We're going to add the hair in the middle before we pull it tight. Now take your hair and stick the yarn right through the center of that loop so that the small end is sticking away from you since that will be hidden inside of the head. Now you're going to take your tail and you're going to just pull your magic circle tight to secure the hair. If this isn't perfect, it's not a big deal because this top of the head is going to be covered up by the hat anyway. Now we're going to continue around by increasing this entire row from 6 stitches to 12 by single crocheting 2 stitches into every stitch around. That first stitch might be a little tricky, so just be patient with it and try and take your time as it's easy to snag the hair into your hook while you're working if you're not careful. And there's your first row. Now that you have your finished increase row, we're going to add three more rows of 12 to complete the head. So just single crochet three more rows of 12. You're going to finish off the same way we did for the hat by slip stitching into that next stitch and then just finishing off. Leave a long tail for sewing because we're going to use this to sew the head closed and also to sew the head to the body. I find it easiest for these small projects to crochet inside out and then turn my work right side out once I'm finished, but you can do whatever you're most comfortable with. Now we're ready to add our accessories and our face. We're going to pick a center spot on the face and note that this method I'm using right here will be used for the arms and legs as well. So you're going to pull one end of your yarn tail through any stitch you like. Just place your nose wherever you think is most appropriate. And then going up to the top of that same stitch of that row, pull the other yarn tail through so you have a space to knot behind. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these two tails inside of the head and just double or triple knot them and then all you have to do is stuff them back inside the head and use them for stuff. You're going to do the same thing for your eyes, so just pick any space and pull the yarn tails through on either side of the stitch where you want your eye and just knot on the inside. If you're using googly eyes, you can just skip this step as you're going to be gluing your eyes on later. I recommend gluing eyes on after the head is already stuffed and in position. We're going to use the same method for our mole, so just go ahead and tie your mole onto your face. And then we're going to add our mouth. Pick where you want your mouth, just thread it through, and then knot the back exactly how we did for the rest of the facial features. If you're using black yarn on any of these facial features, make sure you do snip your tails as using them to stuff into the head afterward might show through if you're using a light color yarn for your face. Now we're ready to stuff the head. You can use traditional plushy stuffing or use my method where I just use a cotton ball because it keeps the head in shape and it's the perfect size for this little miniature witch head. Thread your darning needle and now you're ready to weave that thread around each of your stitches and then we'll just pull tight at the end to close up the hole.
once you're to the end, pull tight. And then I usually just make a quick knot and then slip my yarn through to where I'm going to want to begin sewing my head to my body. Now go ahead and sew the hat on. You can also glue the hat if you find this easier and just stuff that tail up inside the top of the hat. I just like to sew my projects. It's just a personal preference, so whatever works for you. If you are sewing though, keep in mind you are going to have to jump around those hairs. So it is a little bit more complicated and takes a little bit longer, but I ultimately like the result a little bit better when it comes to sewing than gluing. Again, it's just my personal preference. I don't think it'll make a big difference in the end of your project. And with that, your head is complete. So go ahead and set it aside and we're going to get started on the body. You're going to start with a magic ring of six single crochet. Followed by an increased row of 12. So do two single crochet stitches in each of those stitches around. After that, we're going to increase to 18, so you're going to do two single crochets into your first stitch, followed by one single crochet into the stitch after that. Repeat all the way around until you have 18 stitches. If you want, you can use a yarn marker, however, I usually just count. Now you should have 18 stitches around. We're going to increase one more time to 24, so all you have to do is single crochet twice into the first stitch and then do one single crochet into the next two stitches all the way around until you have 24 stitches. Once you've increased to 24, go ahead and add two more rows of 24 single crochet stitches all the way around. Once you get to that final stitch of your second row of 24 single crochets, go ahead and snip your yarn and tie on your secondary color that you'll be using for the bottom of your body. You can kind of manipulate the yarn to pull it through like I did, so that way you don't see a color change in the middle of a stitch, but rather at the beginning of a new row. Now you're just going to single crochet all the way around 24 stitches for 3 rows. However, something I decided to do right before I added these rows was tie on the arms. We're going to use the same method for the arms as we did for all of the facial features. Just pick a stitch where you think your arms would look nice. You can use your head as a guide too and just kind of hold up your head to the body to see where you want the arms. And then just tie them on. Then go ahead and continue around by adding the rest of your body. And now we're ready to decrease. To decrease, what you're going to do is the opposite of what you did with your increase rows. You're going to make a single crochet decrease in the first two stitches of your row, followed by two regular single crochet stitches until you have decreased 18 stitches all the way around. Now we're going to repeat the process and decrease to 12 stitches. So you're going to do a single crochet decrease in the first two stitches of this row, followed by a single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around until you have only 12 stitches. Once that's done, you're ready to turn your body inside out and add the legs. Go ahead and add them in the same way we added the arms, and then you're ready to stuff your body. I also stuffed little scrap pieces of yarn that I used for the facial features and other parts of the body. That's a good way to recycle your yarn rather than just throwing it away. For the final row, you're going to do a single crochet decrease in each pair of stitches all the way around. At the end of this row, you will have a total of six stitches that you will need to sew shut. So make sure you leave a long tail as we did before for the head so that you can loop around and pull this tight to sew it closed. I just make a little slip knot onto one of my stitches once I'm done and then hide the tail up inside the body. I also like to stuff the end of the tail back into the body for extra stuffing. And now your body's complete. 
Now all you have to do is add the head. Go ahead and position it how you would like and then just sew it on. I like to use the magic circle as a guide for my head. It helps me to keep it straighter and get it on just the way I want it. Be sure to watch out for those pesky witch hairs as you're sewing around as well. And once your head is sewn on, your little witch is complete. Now you have your very own little grunty inspired witch. Just try not to lose your witch fingers. I hope you guys had fun making your little witch and enjoyed this tutorial, and I also hope that you're looking forward to Halloween as much as I am. For extra help, you can find the written pattern for this little witch linked in the video description. Also, you can find my playlist linked in the video description to help you learn how to crochet if you'd like to learn but don't know how. Happy Halloween, guys, and thank you so much for watching. This has been Madame Wario. Peace out, pimps. Madam Wario, you have quite the sewing technique. But this doll is all wrong. Where is my beautiful physique? My hair is all greasy, my eyes are all murky, and all that stuffing? I'm a witch, not a Thanksgiving turkey. You must not have seen me since I started my diet. The fellas can't resist me. They flood me like an angry riot. I haven't looked or felt this good since I was 16. So get back to work, Madame Wario, and to all you, Happy Halloween.